axis is the basic vector of the depolarization of the ventricles. Normally the left part of the heart has so much more muscle so that basic vector, that general vector is going to move towards the left ventricle. So one way to determine axis is to find a biphasic QRS complex and then uh, take 90 degrees from that. But I can never ever find a biphasic uh, QRS. So one way to accurately determine axis is to look in two leads. Look in lead one and look in AVF. So then you want to calculate how many negative and how many positive the QRS complex score. In this example, I don't see any negative deflection, but in the QRS complex in lead one, I would estimate at about 10. Looking at AVF, I don't see any negative deflection, only a positive deflection. I would say it's about six. So our point is about 10, six. So lead one, we take our left arm straight out, AVF, straight down. We count our points, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, towards lead 1, and 6 towards AVF, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this gives us our axis, which is a normal axis. So here's another example. In this example, our QRS complex looks negative about 2 and positive about 11, so our net point is going to be 9. In AVF, it looks about negative 6 and positive 2. So that gives us a net point of negative 4. So our net axis is going to be 9, negative 4. So again, we'll put lead 1 out, AVF out, 9 towards lead 1, 9, and negative 4. So away from AVF, 1, 2, 3, 4, giving us a slight left axis deviation. And once you understand how to calculate it yourself, you're allowed to look and see what the computer got. They got negative 34, which is again left axis deviation. So a quick and dirty way to do it is if it's positive in one and positive in AVF, that's normal axis. If it's positive in one and negative in AVF, and uh, the AVF is significant enough, they're leaving each other, that's left axis deviation. Negative in one, positive in AVF they're reaching towards each other, that could be right axis deviation, but still you have to calculate the uh, actual axis. So left axis deviation is between negative 30 and negative 90 degrees. Right axis deviation is between 90 and 180 degrees. Extreme right axis deviation is between 180 and negative 90 degrees.